There he is. A magnificent beast. On one of his many thrones, leading his kingdom, his loyal servants surround him. They culminate his being. They act as his reason. But now, it's time for him to be theirs. Alas, he has a battle scar. A reminder of how far he's come. Mobility is weakened, but heart is strong. He's coming to terms with his mortality. His palace, temporary. Looking into his eyes, you can see he is wise beyond his years. Many memories have been seen through these eyes. So much love, so much heartache, a brother, eternal. There's a long war, but eventually it's won. The realization is daunting. We will never see the end of it, only the end of ourselves. There is hope. Hope that our impact can last centuries. We must resist the urge to be filled with sorrow and cherish the moments we have spent. From a body into a concept. Hey buddy, hey, hey buddy, stop! A feeling. We reminisce to relive. From youth to age, life doesn't stop. It evolves. We are not gods. We cannot control what happens, only our reactions to it. In death, we only have one option, to choose how we remember the dead. We must have the will to live for them. We become many things in our lives. It is now the living's turn to define the lives of those who are no longer present. When death comes afoot, we know it is the natural progression of life. You cannot have life without death, you cannot have happiness without sadness. Death is a reason to live. To live for those who cannot. Toby is not dying. He is evolving. He's going into his final form. He's going to be alive in our minds. Now, as a reason to bring us together. We need courage, not rationalization. Courage to find the reason. The reason to continue. We can no longer actualize the meaning inherent in every situation in our lives. We have to. Gone but not forgotten. He is not dead until he's forgotten. And I will never let him die.